Hello class, I just wanted to go over Halo and Math 144 and show you what it looks like. So let me go ahead and get that screen shared with you. So once you enter the class, you're going to go into the Math 144 and you'll see that you're going to start off similar with a calendar. Um, you can pick how many weeks that you view here. If we just view one week, um, then you can see that there's uh, a class introduction this first week. That was your bio. So now you have uh, almost like an assignment uh, to post to and very similar to a DQ. And then you'll have uh, your two DQs, which are normal, participation, which is normal. And then these three assignments are going to be in a program called Alex. And we'll go over that in another short video. Um, in a little more detail. So we'll just we'll just work on what's in Halo for now. Uh, messages, this is uh, sending me a private message similar to an email, something like that, or the private form in the old platform. Um, so you can use that. Um, let's look off here on the left and you're gonna find pretty much everything you need over here on the left-hand side. If it's condensed, then you can just use those three bars and that will open it up for you. OK, um, after you get done checking on your calendar to see what you have going on this week, I would suggest checking out the announcements. Uh, there's going to be uh, announcements for you at the beginning of the class. There's going to probably be a, a fair amount of announcements. And then as you go on, there may be only one or two per week, uh, depending on what's going on those weeks. But you'll see that they're open. Um, you can just scroll down to go through the different announcements. There is going to be an area for you to acknowledge. So we have an idea of who's uh, taking a look at, at them, those types of things. So please take a little time to uh, check out the announcements each week. You'll find a lot of resources and information in there. The syllabus is a little easier to find than last time. It's just uh, one of the sidebars here. The uh, download option, if you want to download it, is located up here. Again, another location to send a message, or you can go ahead and use email. There's the contact information. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's a section for each topic, very similar to what's here. The class resources also located right here. So you'll find sort of some repeat things going on. If we look at the class resources, these are outside resources that are provided. Um, you can go through them, but your instructor will probably provide you more detailed resources for the course in the DQs and in the announcements. So this would probably be the, the last place that you come to to look for uh, specific resources for the class. The main thing that is here, um, and I'll show you where else it's at, is Alex for Math 144. This is how you're going to access Alex to set up your account and get going. Um, so this will be one spot that you come to. Um, but as you work through the course, you'll, you'll see it in other spots. I'll show you another spot where you can find this Alex for Math 144. The grade book, uh, I can't click on that. That'll show the student grades. So this is where you'll click to see your grade um, to go through. <clears throat> The discussion forum, uh, notice that it's all on one page here, which is nice. The class introduction, again, this is like your bio. So you're gonna, you'll click in, post your bio. Here's a little reply to the discussion. And so I have mine posted already. Let me go back to the discussion. For our topic one, DQ1, a lot of them will require you to um, use Excel. For this first one, it's supposed to pop up right here. Notice that it's not. So I'm just going to go out of it and come back into it. And there is uh, the document that you'll need. Um, so if you click on that, it's going to open it in another window. Click the download button up here in the corner, top right corner and Excel will open for you. You're gonna go through, answer the question, save the document, probably should set up a folder on your desktop for Math 144 documents and save them all there so you can go back and find them once you've modified them. Um, 
and then post this as an attachment to your reply to the DQ. Okay. And we are, understand that Excel may not be something you're familiar with. So there's going to be a ton of resources available. You're gonna be able to you know, make corrections on your DQs, get feedback, those types of things. So in my first response here is just some basics of working with Excel, excuse me. So you'll see there's some videos to check out, a few Excel documents to look at. And then once you're done with that, here's some resource and videos for the specific formulas you're going to see on that, that DQ. So on this document to help you answer it. So don't try to just answer the Excel document without going through the resources and taking a little time to learn the material be also good to get into Alex and start working on the homework assignment just to get the process going, go over some of the concepts, those types of things for the week. Okay, if we go back, topic one, DQ2, which is going to be more like the rest of the DQs in the class that require Excel. Um, you're gonna be asked to go find it in Alex or it's gonna be provided by your instructor. So most of us will attach the document down here below, and we may have modified it a little bit to include additional directions, more resources, those types of things that help you answer them. And then there's probably going to be some other resources for you to uh, check out as well. So just go ahead and I would suggest looking at all your instructors uh, post as you uh, go through. Okay, it'll sort of jump you to each one. Okay, so that's the discussion forum. And that's how you reply. The class questions. This is the question to instructor that we used to have. This is the public forum. So general questions about assignments. Um, if you're having problems with calculation, those types of things, you have questions. Um, but if it's personal, or if you're sharing your entire major assignment one with us, then please use the, the, private, the message, the private one or email. This is more for general questions, okay? Those class resources, again, we've already looked at it once on the syllabus, but here's the uh, class resources. And notice how it's sort of in a different order. These seem to adjust each time you come into them. Um, so you may need to go find this Alex for Math 144 to get to that view resources. If we look at the topic one, same idea as the syllabus, you're going to have uh, all your assignments listed here. Uh, there's that document for topic one, DQ1. It's in this area as well. Talks a little bit about the Alex. Um, and then here's that Math 144 resource. Again, if you wanna use this to get to Alex and you, you may find some more resources in here uh, for the class as well. Okay, well, ho hopefully that gives you a little idea of what Halo will look like for us in Math 144. Um, we'll have another short video to go from how we go from Halo into Alex and then what's in Alex once we get there. All right. Well, I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching.